small holdings in India and their remedies by Baba Sahib Ambedkar. 2. Small holdings in India. It may be said that some countries are predominantly countries of small holdings, while in others it is the large holdings that prevail. According to Adam Smith, it is the adoption of the law of primogeniture, chiefly due to the exigencies of a military life, that leads to the creation and preservation of large holdings, while it is the adoption of the law of equal subdivision necessitated by the comparatively peaceful career of a nation that gives rise to small holdings. He says, when land like movables is considered as the means only of subsistence and enjoyment, the natural law of succession divides it like them among all the children of the family, of all of whom the subsistence and enjoyment may be supposed equally dear to the father, thus tending to have small holdings. But when land was considered as the means, not of subsistence merely, but of power and protection, it was thought better that it should descend undivided to one. In those disorderly times, to divide it was to ruin it, and to expose every part of it to be opposed and swallowed up by its neighbours. The law of primogeniture, therefore, came to take place in the succession of landed estates, thus tending to preserve large holdings. England is, therefore, a country of large holdings. Post-revolutionary France is a country of small holdings. So are Holland and Denmark. Turning to India, we find holdings of the following size held separate and direct for the years 1896 to 1917 and 1900 to 1901. Average area of holdings in acres. Years 1896 to 1997. Assam 3.37. Bombay 24.07. Central provinces 17. Madras 7. 1900 to 1901, 3.02, 23.9, 48, 7. Data, more recent, more exact, though from more restricted area, is available from the Baroda state. Statistics of land holdings in the state are summarized in Bigas in the following table. Name of the district, total agricultural land, survey number into which it is divided, Number of Khatidars, Average under Khatidar, Average Area per Survey Number Baroda 17-17-319-430-601-107-638-15-4 Gadi 17 414. Now, sorry, 106176, 216748, 52652, 19, 4. Amveli, 972040, 55635, 17214, 36, 314. Total, 8249515, 1292671. 318649 17 8 bigas is equal to 5 acres another investigation conducted by dr h s mann and his colleagues indicates more specifically the fact of small holdings in the village of pimpala sodagar near pune the size of holdings in that village is indicated by the table below over 20 acres 10 to 20 acres, 5 to 10 acres, 3 to 5 acres, 2 to 3, 1 to 2, 30 to 40 Gunthas, 10 to 30 Gunthas, 15 to 20, 10 to 15, 5 to 10, below 5. Number of plots of each size, 1, 7, 21, 25, 67, 164, 75, 136, 71, 57, 59, 25. 40 Gunthas is 1 acre. In this table, the model holding is between 1 and 2 acres. A mode is statistical average indicating the point of largest frequency in any array of instances. From these tables, it can be easily seen 
The average size of holdings varies from 25.9 acres in the Bombay Presidency to an acre or two in Bimpala, Saudagar. This diminutive size of holdings is said to be greatly harmful to Indian agriculture. The evils of small holdings, no doubt, are many. But it would have been no slight mitigation of them if the small holdings were compact holdings. Unfortunately, they are not. A holding of a farmer, though compact for purposes of revenue, is for purposes of tillage composed of various small strips of land scattered all over the village and interspersed by those belonging to others. How the fields are scattered can only be shown graphically by a map. Herein, we shall have to remain content, since we cannot give a map with knowing how many separate plots are contained in a holding. The number of separate plots in each holding will show how greatly fragmented it is. We have no figures at all for the whole of India bearing on this aspect of the question. But the Honourable Mr. G. F. Kitinj, in his note, submitted to government in 1916, has collected figures of typical cases from all the districts of the Bombay Presidency. The following table is constructed to present his data in an intelligible form. Case 2. V. Shirgaon, T. Ratnagiri, T. Ratnagiri. Case 5. V. Badlapur, T. Kalyan, D. Thana. Case 6. V. Kara, T. Maval, D. Puna. Case 7. V. Althan, T. Ghorsi, D. Surat. Case 9. Surat District. Case 10. Kaira District. Case 12. V. Lasur, D. Koregaon, D. Satara. Area of holding, number of separate plots. Area of holding, number of separate plots. Continues for each case. 341 by 233. 3, 48, 6, 53, 60, 0, 27, 0, 9, 1, 0, 14, 62, 27, 6, 33, 2, 67, 0, 38, 2, 27, 8, 85, 0, 8, 13, 0, 18, 65, 23, 7, 23, 20, 3, 1, 9, 6, 2, 31, 5, 26, 9, 8, 22, 0, 20, 36, 16, 3, 1, 14, 3, 6, 30, 8, 16, 6, 7, 3, 6, 4, 16, 5, 36, 10, 1, 30, 5, 25, 0, 17, 2, 35, 6, 5, 0, 7, 7, 9, 5, 5, 22, 101, 4, 1, 26, 9, 13, 26, 6, 6, 33, 9, 0, 26, 9, 28, 15, 3, 29, 7, 4, 12, 10, 8, half, 12, 2, 20, 1, 12, 3, half, 7, 3, 5, 5, 343 by 4, 26, 3, 5, 35, 3, 3, 39. V. Village, T. Taluka, D. District. These small and scattered holdings have given a real cause for anxiety regarding our great national industry. Comparative statistics go to swell this feeling by laying bare two very noteworthy but equally sad facts regarding economic life in India. 1. That it is largely in the agricultural country and 2. That its agricultural productivity is the lowest. 1. Occupational Statistics Percentage of Agricultural Population England and Wales 15.3 Australia 44 Belgium 60 Bulgaria 20 Denmark 82 Denmark 48 France 42 Germany 35 Holland 30 Hungary 69 Italy 59 Russia 58 Russia 30 India 71 USA 33. 2. Produce in pounds per acre. Country, wheat, maize. UK 
1973 Canada 1055-3487 New Zealand 1723-3191 Austria 1150-1135 Egypt 1634-2059 France 1172-1097 Germany 1796 Hungary 1056-1489 Japan 1176-1525 USA Turkey 1318-1372 Indian Provinces UP 850-1100 NWP or Northwestern Provinces 555-735 Punjab 555-766 Bombay 510 Upper Burma 322 both these routes are painful enough to have startled many people into inquiring the causes of this low productivity. As a result, attention has now been concentrated on the excessive subdivision and fragmentation of land holdings. Enlarge and consolidate the holdings, it is confidently argued, and the increase in agricultural productivity will follow in its wake. The end.